Hi, this is Delphine from Leicester Lost. I hope you're well. Um, I'm doing, a, doing another product review today. Um, if you like those product reviews, give me a like um, and to subscribe. Um, today I'm reviewing the Nemo Tensor Insulated Long Wide Ultralight Sleeping Pad. Um, so, for full disclosure, I haven't actually used this, but my husband has on the on a section of the Beebleman track. Um, initially, he had the regular pad, and it turned out to be too narrow. Uh, so we've actually bought um, the long wide, uh, which we're going to show you. So this is what it looks like. Um, so there's a, um, a bag that comes. Stuff, stuff sack that comes with it. Um, so the thing to know about the Nemo sleeping pad is that it comes in different shapes, um, different lengths, um, different capabilities. Um, we, what we have here is the insulated one, um, which would work for three seasons. I wouldn't envisage getting anything else than than an insulated pad. Um, I guess there's a slight difference in uh, in weight um, and potentially the noise that they can make. But this has, you know, this is one of the quietest um, sleeping pads uh, on the market. So there's a difference between the um, mummy-shaped pad and the rectangular rectangular shape I think what you need to, to, to I think what you need to bear in mind here is what kind of sleeper are you um, my guess is that if you're using a if you're using a mummy shape it's lighter um, but you'd have to be a very still sleeper if you toss and turn you don't have as much room as you would have on a rectangular pad so my husband is six foot, uh, weighs 95 kilos, um, is a side sleeper and tends to toss and turn a fair bit. Um, so it was important to get a good size, uh, a good size pad. So this is Nemo. So this is what it comes as. I'll put the weight uh, and the dimensions in on the screen. So it comes with it comes with a infl inflation bag, and that's a really cool thing. I'll show you in a minute. Um, basically, that's what it looks like. This is what you use to inflate it. Um, so this is where the valve is. So you open that and connect connect it with the vortex pump sack like this and this stuff is really cool you can see that the amount of air I blow in doesn't match the volume of air that actually gets produced, which is really interesting. So when you're done blowing it up, you need to remove the valve, but you need to hold on to this little thing here. that's the second valve. So I pop this open, then the air will go. So that's it, that's the pad. So apparently if you're a side sleeper, your hips, your elbows, your shoulders will not touch the ground. Um, which for a 95 kilo guy is you know, on this much is pretty impressive. So let's see how it fits in, in the tent.
So the good way to do this is to really blow it up in the tent. Um, you lay it out inside the tent. You don't want to lie down on the pad on the ground, on the rough ground, because if there are sticks or rocks, you can actually puncture it. So uh, another reason to have a um, to have a footprint for your for your tent. It's not a Obviously, I would lie down in a, in a sleeping bag, uh, but this is what it looks like. So my hips, my uh, my elbows do not touch the ground. It's quite um, it's quite comfortable. Um, So the claim of this pad is that it is not noisy, uh, there's no creaking sound, the fabric is quite, um, quite nice to the touch, it doesn't really feel like a plastic or, or anything like that, it's a bit more elaborate than that. Um, so as you can see it's a pretty big pad um, which should be good for you know, reasonably heavy guy. Um, and it'll be absolutely fine for, for a woman my size. Um, it does fit well in, in a one-person tent, which is good to know. Um, if you want a bit more space, you would probably need a two-person tent or one and a half. Uh, but yeah, very happy. My husband is very happy with, um, with this product. So this was my review of the Nemo Tensor Insulated lightweight sleeping pad, um, rectangular version, long wide. Um, obviously there are mummy shaped sleeping pads. Don't know what they're like to sleep on. Uh, I would always prefer to have a bit of room to, um, to toss and turn, which is why, uh, which is why I go for the, um, for the rectangular one. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, if you know of any better product uh, out there, uh, if you have any comments, uh, and I'll, I will see you in the next review.